So it looks to me like Bitcoin could be setting up to reach a new all-time high and Ethereum under the scrutiny of the SEC, potentially a security. What does this mean for the Ethereum spot ETF? Let's get to it. So we're going to start here on coin market cap the total market cap of crypto globally is up 6.50% at the time of recording and stands at 2.53 trillion dollars we've seen a really substantial bounce back up and there's so much to talk about and so much to dig into i do think that we are on the cusp of bitcoin potentially moving up to reach a new all-time high very very shortly it's currently up 4.89 percent in the past 24 hours but down 7.52 percent in the last seven days and it stands at 67,294.49 and ethereum at 3,543.47 47 up six percent in the past 24 hours but 10 percent down in the past seven days so let's get straight into all of the headlines and talk through my thoughts and opinions on what to expect so we got goldman sachs digital asset head said crypto rally driven by retail investors and there could be an element of truth to this but to be honest when you actually dig deep into the data, it's really the big institutional players that are really sort of moving this. Market makers are also playing a big part in the moves that we're seeing in this space. For me, it's looked like there's been, I guess, an attempt to drive retail out of Bitcoin and Ethereum and the crypto market. And I'll come on to my thoughts and opinions on that later on when we talk about the regulators, particularly here in the UK and what we're seeing, you know, I guess at retail level so really interesting to to see this but i, I think it's nonsense uh the only retail you know driving anything is the current retail investors that are already in crypto there's not a huge amount of individuals that i've seen anyway that are coming into the space at the moment in the data MicroStrategy owns about 1% of all Bitcoin with the latest purchase. That's 214,246 Bitcoin as of the 18th of March. And again, this is really interesting to see. What's your concerns on how centralized Bitcoin is becoming with this uh, potentially infinite glitch that MicroStrategy uh, seems to have uh, you know, found in the respect of using debt to buy a very scarce asset? that you know is i guess going to be able to mean that they're going to be able to get more bitcoin constantly there's a bit of a a, a cycle going on here uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions like i think we should probably be concerned about the the lack of participation and how centralized it is becoming when i say lack of um you know participation i'm really mean from you know a, a decentralization point of view uh retail and not really getting anywhere near this uh, as it is really moving and that transfer of wealth that i've been talking about people are letting that go don't get me wrong lots of millionaires being made um but inflation is just you know it's going to eat away at a lot of that in my opinion um again this is just talking about micro strategies one percent um why people should be concerned uh, and so on uh, i will share this in the discord we've got bitcoin price could hit new all-time high but there's a caveat to this bounce uh, bitcoin price recovery uh hits an um rally to hit a new all-time high of around 74 to 75k range decline in btc spot etf inflows indicate room for a correction and we've seen that and it's still happening um, so yeah look going to be really really interesting a sweep of the current all-time high of 73.949 could lead to a dip to around 59,000 to 53,000 uh, with a weekly imbalance so we need to be aware that the market's going to be volatile I've been saying to our members to expect a bounce reaching a new all-time high would be really interesting um, but again we expect a, another fallback. Uh, this would be a normal, healthy correction before we go on up. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comments below. BlackRock enters asset tokenization race with new fund on the Ethereum network. 
So this, again, is just really, really interesting to me because Nick and myself have been talking about, you know, our forecast for blockchain as a technology and the crypto market since, you know, 2020 on YouTube. And uh, back in 2020, I did uh, say that I expected uh, tokenization of everything, right? And um, BlackRock uh, are definitely moving ahead with real asset, you know, tokenization and uh you know, this uh, real world uh, asset tokenization fund on the Ethereum network is a really big deal and it's going to be really interesting to see how it all plays out. Coinbase, obviously I've said Coinbase is the number one exchange and uh, they're going to be uh, handling the infrastructure for the BlackRock tokenization investment fund. Um, but there is an awful lot going on surrounding Ethereum at the moment. It might be classed as a security. Uh, I've got to be really honest that uh, I as I always am, I've, I've kind of said for a long time that I expect uh, the Ethereum spot ETF to happen. I think it's inevitable. Uh, I also believe that it's inevitable that we're going to see these sorts of articles trying to get people worried, concerned and out of Ethereum so that, you know, the likes of BlackRock and various others can purchase it up. I really do believe that this is what this is. Uh, I do think that, you know, the SEC have had ample opportunity to explore whether Ethereum is a spot ETF. Um, sorry, is a spot ETF is a security, and um, you know they, if they were really serious about it, I think they would have you know moved forward and progressed with this already. Uh, I think that this is um, you know really coming out of nowhere and very very uh, surprising. So it's going to be interesting how this plays out. But I do think that I would pl class this in the bucket of FUD. And, um, you know, for me, I think Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin. I've said this many times. Uh, and, you know, the caveat to that was a an Ethereum spot ETF that nobody was talking about when I first said that, you know, if Bitcoin gets approved, then I expect Ethereum to, to follow suit and then other altcoins later. So, you know, the, the market forecasting that we do here at Cheeky Crypto has been immense. We're expecting a Fed pivot and a, a, a crash in stocks and crypto. Uh, we, we Over 12 months ago, we predicted Q3 for that. You know, it's going to be really difficult to get the timing right. But, you know, I think we are edging closer to um, you know, the, the Fed doing a pivot. So, you know, the forecast here at Cheeky Crypto has been really immense. Do jump in our free Discord. Link is in the description of the video. Definitely worth immersing yourself in a community that wants everybody in that community to do really well and be successful in investing in crypto. And, uh, you know, if you want a little bit more, why not become a Cheeky Crypto member? Link again is in the description. Uh, we do two weekly AMAs, uh, Nick and myself uh, and JB. We also have technical analysis AMAs twice a week. Um, all sorts of different things going on there, write-ups, reviews and ratings of different altcoins and, um, you know, your trading signals and all the other stuff that you get at some of these other places. But, you know, it's a really good uh, membership package, I believe. If you don't believe me, go ahead and jump in the free Discord, ask the members and they will tell you uh, whether they believe that it's worth the, the money or not. So go check that out. Uh, Ethereum Foundation website changes hint at investigation by state authority. So they've made some changes. Again, just really, really interesting to see this. And um, yeah, look, I, I don't have any real concerns when it comes to Ethereum, even if it did get, um, you know, logged as a security um if people are in it before i still think that you know you're going to do really really well because long term i think this is uh, a project that's going to go on to outperform many others um why some in crypto don't want ethereum etfs to win approval just yet again this is really really interesting um you know i'm going to add this into um the discord for you to read through at, the le at your leisure for me i agree i've kind of said that may i think is when like the deadline is i would be very surprised if it's uh agreed and approved in may um i do expect further delays but again i, I say it's, it's inevitable so you know if there is a bit of a or a big pullback in may because you know it doesn't get approved i think that is an opportunity uh, but you let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below the SEC are requesting more funding to regulate the crypto sector. It's clear that they don't have, you know, the infrastructure in place to be able to do what they're, you know, intending to do. Uh, at the moment, I think that's probably a good thing because I think they're way off where they need to be uh, when it comes to, you know, I guess looking after investors, you know, their own mission statements that they fail against, um, you know, before uh, I believe any 
funding should be given to the SEC in order the, for them to to regulate crypto. I think they really need to um, be more aligned to their actual mission statements. But that's my my opinion. Uh, let me know yours in the comments below. UK regulator FCA plans to deliver a market uh, abuse regime for crypto this year. Look, I, I really do want to say that the FCC have got an awful lot wrong. The banks in the UK are, you know, terrible and, uh, you know, haven't really got any of their customers interests at heart. I really do think that the banks and these regulators um, forget what their role really is in society. And you can let me know your thoughts. But, you know, banks uh, saying what you can and you can't spend your money on uh, the FCA you know, uh, blocking a lot of uh, business that they're not even really, re you know, here, here to regulate at the moment. They're not securities and, and so on. Uh, again, I think there's a, a, an abuse of power, both from the banks and the regulators here in the UK. And I think they've got it very, very wrong. I think that if anybody from, you know, within the FCA or the UK government want to sit down with me and uh, get schooled on, on cryptocurrency and how they should probably look to, to move forward, Feel free, you can uh, find the uh, details to contact me in the description of this video. Uh, outside of that, I think you're doing a terrible job. Uh, but again, as I've said before, I think that you will go on to you know pivot and get it right. Um, but I expect you guys to get it wrong more than you get it right at the start, as I've said with many of the other regulators around the world. These are a lot of dinosaur, dinosaur you know, level people that have been around the block for a long time trying to understand something they have no idea about and trying to regulate it and make it safe um, for, for investors but also to, to give the edge to, you know, a lot of the uh, insiders, the, you know, the big institutions and so on. So, look, regulators, as much as uh, their intention, at least on the face of it, is to, to be there to protect and uh, regulate, um, they're really just becoming a bit of a hindrance here in the UK. This is why we're seeing a lot of um, negativity around not being able to participate in, you know, um, you know, a lot of the uh, bonuses and stuff that other people in other countries can take advantage of. You're really, you know, tying the the hands behind people's backs here as investors in the UK. And a lot of the uh, companies here in the UK that, you know, are in the blockchain sector are hindered by the banks not willing to, to lend and support and uh, allow the, the companies to bank with them. And obviously the fact that, you know, they can't actually, you know, advertise to, to an extent that will be able to mean that they're competitive within, you know, the rest of the world when it comes to blockchain technology. So I think there's a lot of failings. It's just my opinion. Uh, I'm really interested to get, you know, your views and opinions uh, on regulation here in the UK in the comments of the video. So do let me know. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, select in all the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.